Hi everybody, welcome to 3D Modeling. So what we're going to do is look at Autodesk Maya 2020 and we're going to uh, look at the tools today, look at uh, how to navigate and the tools. This is the first video of our 3D uh, unit. So welcome, as I said, to 3D. Alright, so what you're seeing here is the scene. We have this uh, grid, which is a great thing to kind of tell you where we are, uh, because in Maya, this is not a canvas, this is a world. We can step into it, we can move around it, uh, we can get lost in it. It goes on infinitely. So having this uh, grid here kind of tells us where we are, because you can see it can be zoomed out far away, we can move it, and if it's if you don't see it, you kind of it's kind of this blank space. We don't know where we are. So it's good that we can start with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this cube. And if you're not seeing it, there's these shelves here that have these tabs. And I'm on poly modeling. I'm going to click on the cube. And your cube should just go right down. It should look something like this. So I always say if you want to learn how to uh, 3D model, we need to know how to navigate in 3D space. So um, if you hold down Option or Alt on your keyboard, and hold down your regular left mouse button, you'll be able to move the mouse as you're holding those two things, option or option slash alt and the left mouse button. And you can see we can do something called orbiting. So that is orbiting. I can orbit above, below, around, and see this cube. Okay. The next type of movement is called panning. So panning is holding down Option or Alt on your keyboard and holding down the mouse wheel, not rolling the mouse wheel, actually compressing the mouse wheel. While I'm holding Option, I compress down the mouse wheel and I can move my mouse as I'm doing that. And this is called panning. You can see the difference between panning, where I'm able to kind of shift the screen up and down, left and right, and this is orbiting. So orbiting and panning are very different. And the last type of movement is zooming, and that would be just the mouse wheel. Or if you're using a PC, sometimes your mouse wheel has big jumps. It's a bigger wheel, so you could also zoom like this by holding Option or Alt on your keyboard and holding down the right mouse button will give you a smoother zoom. But you can also just use the wheel. What if this happens? What if you zoom out so far and you pan over so far that you don't know where you are anymore. Well, you can always press F on the keyboard, which really stands for focus, and it focuses your, focuses your attention on the object that's selected. Okay. And just another note: if I'm if I pan over here and I try to orbit, you can see the orbiting is a little wonky, right? Because it's been panned over here. So you can also press F to focus on the shape, and then the orbiting will be normalized again. So this is just a video for navigating, and that's it. So holding down Option and the left mouse button to orbit, holding down Option and the compressing the middle mouse button to pan, and holding down Option and the right mouse button to zoom. That's it. Good luck, and give it a try.